All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. I'm just going to do a quick little video and introduce you to what I'm calling Build Sember. Uh, my dad and I have a bunch of rockets that we need to build, and we've been talking about getting them done this winter for the past two years. So we're going to actually try and do that this time, and uh, we're going to try and kick out as many videos in or sorry, December as we can. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. Not all of the kits that I'll be building are here. Some of them are at my house, but I will tell you about the ones that we've got starting right here. This is an 8-inch fiberglass v2 i got a cti m1675 pink for that rocket and that's the motor i wanted for that rocket specifically and i was having a hard time finding one but uh robert from amw had one so i picked that up so now i gotta build that rocket there you go m1675 and then uh in a similar vein that i ordered a motor for a rocket that isn't done yet uh, at my house is a full scale Arcus four and a half inch. Um, I'm ordering 98 millimeter motor mount parts for. I'm going to do tip to tip carbon fiber. So if I ever get a wild hair and feel like I need to put an end in something that's going to go 30,000 feet, even though I'm scared of altitude, we'll have something that can handle it. I think the five inch would handle it, but the fin span scares me just a little bit. The N1000 maybe, but the N2000 3300 might be pushing it a little bit. So, uh, yeah, we're going to not worry about trying that. So, next up is this 6-inch fiberglass Dare Red Max that I just ordered a K780 for. Those are some of my favorite motors right now is the two green 75s. Um, so, I mean, they're a really good deal, especially the K1 is basically as full of a K as you can get. It only costs like 20 more dollars than a K1100. And it's a K, but it's 75, so Blue Thunder 75 from K Distance is really loud and really powerful, so that's pretty fun. Uh, while I was at Rockstock, somebody gave me this PML Ultimate Endeavor that's got to be as old as me at least, because it's got plywood fins. It's got 54 and 429s and this little side hatch for air starts, which is something I've been wanting to get into. And, uh, yeah... All right, moving on. Another thing that I've got to work on. This is my K850 motor from Tripoli Vegas when I flew the Iris, but it's serving as a uh, prototyping test bed because I ordered a K455. That's the DMS uh, boost sustain. And I am going to make another go at a minimum diameter flight to 20,000 feet, except for this time, it's going to be sub-minimum diameter. As you can see the concept there is uh, we're going to use coupler tube instead of airframe tube so that it's consistently the same diameter all the way down and composite fins bonded straight to the composite motor case. Obviously, it's a one-flight wonder, but I think we'll do 20,000 feet. Uh, Morass Aero Simulations say like 23 and a half based on uh, using Wildman Mach 2 fins because I'm too lazy to try and cut my own fins, and those are pretty optimal. And speaking of Wildman Mach 2s, I have one of those as well. However... That probably won't be built on this channel. Anyway, like I was saying, I have a Wildman Mach 2 kit. Uh, Tim sent it to me to build it for instructions. I'm happy to announce that I am the uh, content managing guy and creator of the Wildman Rock Tree YouTube channel. So if you'd like to go subscribe to that and see what stuff we've got going on over there, I'll put the link in the description. And then kind of the piece difference is right here. Uh, this is going to be a good father-son project for me and my dad, and we'll probably get my uh, little brother involved as well. In this box is a Lock Precision 7.5 inch Saturn V. I wish I had done the 554s, but I think I did 75 and 38s, but five I-65s would have been really cool, slow takeoff, but also very expensive. At any rate, we got uh, we got a lot to do. Oh, I, there's a couple more. I have a, a four inch Mad Cow Little John that I'm going to fiberglass, and I've got a Scott Binder Rocketry Fusion, the LDRS 40 one. He's doing a couple of competitions for LDRS 40. Uh, I'm not going to reveal too much of my plans on that, but I do plan on partaking in those competitions. Uh, I'll probably show you guys how I'm building the rocket. I'm not going to tell anybody my motor choice until it happens. That way I can try and keep an ace in the hole for uh, the altitude competition he's doing with it. And finally, um, yeah, other stuff. I got J800. I'll probably put in the Big Daddy K1275. I'm really contemplating putting in the three-inch Punisher since that hasn't gone 10,000 feet yet. 
Uh, I think the L1256 is the, the super white lightning 3 grain 75 load. I ordered one of those because I wanted to fly the 5 inch again. And uh, yeah, oh, I have an AMW 4 inch fiberglass Dare Red Max back there as well that uh, I'm not sure we'll make it to the build Sember list because we've got so much other stuff going on. But definitely, definitely the 6 inch one needs finished. So uh, anyway, I thought I would just give you guys a quick little tour, say welcome to Build Sember. And um, my dad's got a whole slew of kits too that we could also be working on. But we're going to try and get uh, these core ones finished. I finally ordered motors for rockets that I don't have done. So I need to finish the rockets because now I don't have an excuse. Like I don't have a motor to fly it on. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. If you want to help support the channel, check out Rocket Vlogs Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description, or you can go to rocketvlogs.com. I got merch and stuff for sale. If you can't afford any of that or you don't feel like paying for it, that's cool. I'm just glad you're here. And uh, if you aren't subscribed, be sure to hit subscribe because we're almost to 10,000 subscribers. I am giving away that AMW White Wolf kit when we hit 10K. And I'll see you guys next time.